Hi, I'm Natasha here at Bessie Seeds, uh, and I'm here today to talk about bananas. It's a really great tropical plant, and we've had lots of inquiries about it. It's quite popular, and uh, I'm going to explain the best way to germinate it and have it grow for you. The best thing to do with banana seeds is to soak them a minimum of 24 hours. They come in a range of sizes. You can get them quite big, and they can be a little bit smaller. After soaking for a, a day, um, you'll notice if you find a spot, there will be a tiny little spot that's actually quite soft. Some people recommend chipping the seed, uh, scarifying it to help with the germination process. However, through trial and experiment, uh, I've found that that doesn't help at all and it's very, very difficult to nick the seed. It's, it's very, very, very tough. So once you've soaked it, you can soak it up to four days. I've actually soaked them, they've dried out, and then I've soaked them again. Uh, and they'll still germinate really well. So they take, I, I would say, a minimum of three, four weeks to actually germinate. Germination is best with some bottom heat. Uh, if you can provide a warmth while they're germination, germinating, that would be the best. Um, as you can see here, this is a tray of a number of seeds. Uh, you put, You plant them about an inch deep. Uh, and make sure that they're well covered with the soil and they really really like a lot of moisture so you want to make sure that the soil is constantly moist when they start they'll they'll just start they'll come up a little bit now I'm going to actually pull this one out so you can see the roots they actually will travel and you can see their root systems form really well just as they're beginning to uh, develop some growth and can see the seed here and it's actually that little soft spot that I pointed out to you uh, where the roots and the growth come from hence the nicking of the seed really is is not necessary so to transplant something like this it's best it's actually best to plant them in individual pots if you can uh, I do it this way because I have a lot to plant so as as they get bigger this one here you can see I put two to a uh, two to a cell which again you don't have to do and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and break it apart and transplant it's really delicate the, like I said the roots grow very very quickly on these and you'll find once that they start to grow for you they do grow very quickly and transplanting to bigger pots will have to happen on a regular basis so here you go you can see again there's the seed the growth and the roots. So I just have a little pot here that uh, I have full with pre-moistened soil. You want to make sure your soil is pre-moistened. And I'll just make a hole with my finger. And uh, if it's if it's not big enough, well, I'll make sure it is. I'll make a little mess. That's what it's all about. So we'll stick this in and as gently as you can, you don't want to uh, don't want to hurt the roots or break them off at all possible. And then just you want to press your soil down so you have a little bit of a lip around when you water that the uh, pot will catch the water and it's not going to spill over the edges on you. And so so here you have a little banana that uh, is newly transplanted. There are different stages. Uh, what I'll sh I can show you what will happen if you Put, it, put your seed in something too small, uh, the roots will, will go crazy and you might have difficulty transplanting. So I'll just pull this. As you can see here, this is a very small cell and I didn't catch it in time. And what happened is, if you see underneath, you have all this root growth and I'm going to have to delicately pull that out slowly through the holes in the bottom of the cell in hopes of not breaking off any of the any of it but it's actually it's actually coming to its first its first true leaf so I will do that after to give you an idea of how quickly they grow I have this fellow right here who actually needs to be repotted again and this banana is I would it, it was planted or it germinated rather three months ago so this is a three-month-old, 
Uh, fertilizer, they, like I say, they, they prefer lots and lots of moisture. They're very heavy feeders, so when they're, as soon, once they start and they've got uh, one or two leaves, you can begin fertilizing with a nice, uh, with a good balanced fertilizer. A plant like this will grow. You can keep it as a house plant. It's a beautiful tropical house plant. If it's kept in a pot life, it will adapt to the pot it's in. Um, if you plant it outside, it's going to get, depending on your climate and how much water you give it, it can get actually up to seven feet tall in one season. I've had that happen here in the display gardens at Vessie's.